merchandise. Air Cooler was 57. <laughs> So, because 7 in 10 adults in the U.S. say dating during COVID-19 was hard. A survey by the Pew Research Center says 63% of single people say their love lives are not flourishing. The poll says daters younger than 30 are more likely than those 30 and older to express frustration. 56% say they're not looking for anything serious. That is a 6% increase from 2019. I've got your crash on the Jeff Vlog. Going to take us to the 101 in just a moment. First, it's sports with Wayne. The Dodgers are preparing for opening day against the Colorado Rockies, but it's a young player with an L.A. connection who's generating a lot of heat. Cesar Itzuris Jr. has been tearing it up in single-A play. He's the son of former Dodger all-star Cesar Itzuris, who played for L.A. in 2002-2006. Catch the Dodgers-Rockies game tomorrow at 110, live in HD on the iHeart app. Just search for AM570 L.A. Sports, brought to you by Shaky. Get your game day meal on with pizza, chicken, and mojo potatoes at Shakey's.com. The Angels open today at home against the Astros with Shohei Otani on the mound. Houston will start with Amber Valdez. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Is it time for you to sell your house? Uh, yeah, things are coming down the pike where it makes a lot of sense. And let's say you've inherited a house. You don't know what, no, don't know what to do with it. So but typically, what do you do? Yeah, you jump on getting a real estate agent and listing it. The problem is uh, it has to be spotless. Uh, you're told to clean and paint, repair. You have to pay 6% commission. Uh, you can't be at home as prospective buyers go through. I mean, it's a hassle. So let me suggest a fair price. You get a fair price without any of that hassle. No commission. You stay in your home. No one walks through. You can still live like a slob. Uh, you get paid in cash within 10 days or less. That's directbuyers.com. Directbuyers.com is a company that I'm recommending. I have spent hours with Janet, Matt, and the owners of this company, brother and sister. And they'll give you an honest, no obligation offer. I like the way they do business. They'll even give you a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your move, and they'll never know that of you. That's so important to me. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, directbuyers.com. SoCal weather from KFI. We have a wind advisory until 3 this afternoon. That is on top of our heat advisory that's going to last until 6 tomorrow night. Our temperatures are hot today and tomorrow. Highs at the beaches in the 80s. Inland Empire will make it into the low 100s. We're just going to get a little relief even heading to uh, Metro LA and OC because that's just going to be in the 90s. So copy and paste that forecast for tomorrow, slightly cooler on Saturday, more cooling on Sunday, and then by Monday, highs back in the 60s with a chance of showers. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. Jeff Bogg and morning tickets to the 101. So right back at you, Jen. Thank you. Listen to your weather report. You're going wind and heat. Uh, not a good situation in the fire department, so be careful. Now, listen up. We're right over downtown Los Angeles. There are some big, big problems, especially if you headed to Union Station uh, on the South 101. South 101 Alameda, south of the full level only, only, only the right lane is open. It's actually kind of a, a shoulder thing as well, but one lane is open. Now, southbound 101 is backing up from Vermont very, very quickly. If you headed just to downtown Los Angeles to the Harbor Freeway, I guess stick with it. You can make that transition, but south of there, it's really a nightmare. Uh, northbound, all lanes are open, but the birds of the North 101 and the West 10, it's always slow. It's really a crawl this morning. Everybody's looking as they go by. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, as I speak to you, hold on just one second here, Jennifer. I might run a little late on you here, but, oh, there's reopening some lanes right now. Oh, we're getting some relief. They are reopening some lanes right now. Again, the backup uh, to Vermont. And also, one thing I wanted to hit you real quick, if you're the still in the San Fernando Valley, uh, Hespi Street, which is uh, North Hollywood, around Vineland, south of Magnolia. Early morning structure fires, still a lot of activity on the street. More coming up. Just fall, KFI in the sky. At Whole Foods Market, enjoy 20% off sustainable, wild-caught, previously frozen Chilean sea bass fillets through April 12th, plus an extra 10% off for prime members while supplies last. Learn more on the Whole Foods Market app. The world's biggest health freedom event is coming to Los Angeles on April 10th. 
celebrities, athletes, influencers, and scientists including Jenny McCarthy, Kevin Sorbo, Lee Allen Baker, Del Bigtree, Naomi Wolf, Dr. Pierre Corey, and Dr. Robert Malone. Don't miss it. Defeat the mandate, US.com. The truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Let it loose. It will defend itself. April 10th, Graham Park. Go to defeat the mandate, US.com. You know you worked hard to build your wealth. You also know one must plan for the twists and turns ahead. The children growing up, empty nest realities, and the joys of retirement. There's something else you need to know. You're not alone in this. You have a wealth management partner in Edelman Financial Engines to work with you every step of the way. Whether it's personalized advice or our modeling of over 38,000 investments monthly to keep you current and focused. It also helps to know that we use a cost-effective, integrated approach to wealth planning. From tax-optimized portfolios, to life-focused advice for retirement, and the possibilities ahead. If you're asking, what more can I do to take my wealth potential to the next level, call to schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with an Edelman Financial Engines advisor who knows what that takes. Call 833-PLAN-EFE or visit planefe.com today. Regrow your own natural hair with the same simple one-day treatment that I received from Advanced Hair Restoration. Get a free consultation, $250 off, and 250 free hair grafts by calling 844-333-HAIR or advancedhair.com. Hi, this is Congresswoman Michelle Steele. I am proud to represent the hardworking families of Old Town and Tom. Oh, and Collins or Murkowski. 
I think Romney has not announced the retirement, but Romney's known as uh, a moderate Republican. And uh, Romney is so popular that he's going to win no matter what. Uh, sometimes you just own the state. And that's the case with Romney. President Biden has signed uh, a new reform bill for the Postal Service to try to save their teasters. The most important part of this law is that the post office will no longer have to pre-fund all of their uh, retiree health benefits, which I can't think of any other private business or government organization that has to do that. And it's killing them financially because they have to kick in hundreds of millions of dollars constantly for expenses that aren't coming for a very long time. There was a time when the post office actually made money. It's a quasi-independent agency. It's kind of a hybrid agency. And it has been losing money by the tens of billions year after year. This is probably the biggest story since you don't have to lick stamps uh, in the last 20 years. They're now adhesive as you know. Why did they always taste so badly? They do that on purpose. And they made them like peppermint. Yeah, they don't do that. Uh, Democrat Senator Nancy Skinner from right here in California would like to remove the provision that an individual has to be a citizen or permanent resident of the U.S. in order to become a police officer. Now, I ask the two of you this. This would allow illegal immigrants to become police officers in the state. But by being illegal in the state, wouldn't they be breaking one of the laws that they are supposed to uphold? Uh, I would say technically no. Because the law that they're breaking is a federal law. law. So not a state violation. Correct. Not a state law, but they are breaking... The way that illegal entry works is that it, it's a continuous crime. So it starts when you enter without inspection or a visa, and it continues every moment that you're here until you leave. If you leave again, then it stops. And so every moment that they would be out there as police officers, they would also be guilty of a, a federal, federal crime. crime. Now, and illegal entry with nothing else is a misdemeanor. And, but that's still a, but it's, it's but a, that's still a criminal violation. And then the question yeah. is, uh, state officials don't enforce federal crime. But at the same time, uh, it can be argued that they're perpetrating yeah. and are complicit in uh, federal criminal action by hiring uh, cops that are illegal aliens. It's going to get to the point where you can't even be a citizen uh, anymore to be a cop. I mean, it's gotten uh, it's gotten crazy is what it has. You know, I, I think that if they don't also allow um, active recreational marijuana users in California to become police officers, because that's a situation where you're not breaking a state law, but you are breaking a federal law uh, when you purchase it at least, if they do not do that, then somebody should file a lawsuit saying that this is unconstitutional under equal protection because they are favoring a group of people based on their nationality, which you're not allowed to do. Uh, assuming, uh, assuming, uh, assuming, well, assuming de facto it is discrimination, not on its face, and only because you are you, most of the uh, illegal aliens are Hispanic. If you look statistically at the number and therefore... It can be argued that the whole the whole hiring process is skewed uh, on its face. There's a lot. There's a lot. No, no, it doesn't matter. You could be you could be here unlawfully from the Netherlands. Yes, yeah, but that's they, not are, the they are treating someone differently. No, I mean, I think their national origin that's a protected class. Yes, yeah. but you uh, can't do it. Yeah, it's it's true. Flip it. Okay. We're discriminating against people who were born here. All right, we are going to come back, Jennifer. Live from the KFI 24 hour news. The war in Ukraine is now in its seventh week. More people are hoping to escape today as 10 evacuation corridors should be opening. Turkeys are also underway in areas around the capital because of looting. A licensed naturopathic, uh, naturopathic doctor from Napa has pleaded guilty to selling more than 200 fake COVID 19 vaccination cards. Cards made it look like her customers have taken the Moderna vaccine and six, six States are calling on the NFL to stop what's described as a pervasive culture of sexism. So you had Attorney General from New York, Massachusetts, Illinois, Washington, Minnesota, and Oregon all send a letter to the commissioner. We've got an update on the 101 in just a moment.
Navigating Medicare can be overwhelming, and in most cases, it is. Why? Because uh, Medicare plans, all of them are different, and there's lots of them. They change every year, and frankly, you want to make sure you're on the right one. Whether you're about to apply for Medicare, choose the right plan, or whether you're already on Medicare, and you may want to switch to a better plan, uh, it's all kinds of stuff. So we suggest contacting the folks at AGA Medicare Act. These are experts, and they will help you make the right decision. And they're offering a free dinner and educational Medicare seminar. No enrollments, no sales. This is really all about you understanding the options. They will advise you step-by-step on a plan to fit your situation, your budget. Upcoming events uh, are in Mission Viejo, Santa Ana, Irvine, L.A. Look online for a full list of dates and locations. Dial pound tickets, young yourselves, say the keyword, my Medicare, and bring your appetite. That's pound 250 on the cell, say my Medicare, or visit agamedicareoptions.com. SoCal weather from KFI, hot today. Highs will be in the 80s at the beaches. We'll be in the 90s from Metro LA and OC. Low 100s for the valleys in the IE and more of the same tomorrow. This report is brought to you by the fabulous San Bernardino County Transportation oh. Authority. Let's get a look at that drive on the 101. <laughs> Boy, well, they get a little fabulous here. They, again, if you had a PUD station, you were listening last time around. That's this way. Things got a lot better. South 101 Alameda, right outside Union Station. Only the right lane was open for a long time. Terrible crash. All the lanes reopened. As a matter of fact, they reopened during our last report. So, bottom line, South 101 is closed. It's a little slower than it should be. But south of the four level, boy, it's wide open. Northbound, the boat with the West Tenant got up to a close start because everybody was looking. But north of the four level, you, you'll be okay. Real quick, the I-5 is uh, south of the Lake Pyramid now, and a little bit before Lake Houston, yeah. the ring just in front of the lanes. Be careful, I'll follow up on that. Don't go away. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Attention I-10 freeway drivers. Freeway and ramp closures are coming up for the I-10 Express Lanes project. Don't get stuck. For dates and detours, visit GoSBCTA.com. That's GoSBCTA.com for more information on the I-10 Express Lanes project. This report is sponsored by Caliber Garage Doors. Make Caliber Garage Doors your number one choice for new garage doors. Right now, it's $200 off as low as $699 installed, including free bottom seals and hallway. I'm Jared Buckaloo, president of Caliber Garage Doors, and I personally guarantee will be any advertised price. CaliberGarageDoors.com. CaliberGarageDoors.com. The True Crime Podcast. What Happened to Sandy Beal investigates the alarming death of a young woman who dreamed of a career in law enforcement. Journalist Melissa Jelson untangles the mystery at the heart of the investigation, revealing a troubling pattern by officials close to the case. Well, I didn't take any of that crap because I could tell that they were hiding something. Listen to What Happened to Sandy Beal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Need a car for longer than three months, but not ready for a three-year financial commitment? At Autonomy.com, you can subscribe to a Tesla Model 3 with routine maintenance, tires, and roadside assistance included. I'm Scott Painter, founder of Autonomy, and we make getting your next car cheaper, easier, and faster. There is a lot of information out there about COVID-19 and kids, so it's important to share the facts, not the virus. While COVID-19 vaccines are new, the science behind them is based on decades of research. Clinical studies have confirmed they are safe and effective at protecting kids and the whole family. Share the fact, not the virus. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Your electric bill keeps going up. The cost of solar has gone way down. It's time to go solar with local veteran-owned Semper Solaris now and get all the benefits. Here's veteran, founder, and owner, Kelly Shawhan. In the military, when you give your word, it just is your word. Work hard and keep your word. That's what we do every single day. I heard about Semper Solaris and found that they were veterans. I knew they were going to do the job right. Add Tesla Powerwall and be ready for blackouts. We get the job done with esprit de corps and honor. <laughs> Semper Solaris offers new heating and air conditioning systems with a lifetime warranty and new roofs with a 50-year warranty. We hire vets and give back to the community with our Semper Cares initiative. Go solar American style with Semper Solaris. Zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get the federal 26% solar and battery tax credit. Call 877-211-5591 or visit SemperSolaris.com. 26% federal tax credit based on eligibility. Auto-proof credit. Consult your tax advisor. Cannot be combined with any other offers. New customers only. Some restrictions apply. Call at Keck Medicine of USC, we see the limitless potential in you. 
But what does Limitless really mean? Limitless is sunrise brainstorms and midnight oil, elbow grease and extra miles. It's hours of work for breakthroughs we'll never forget. And hours of made-up stories for grandchildren who will remember forever. Here at Keck Medicine of USC, we see your limitless potential because we're limitless too. Keck Medicine of USC. Limitless. California is the second highest rate of unused housing. It's unreal. It really truly is. There is going to be an explosion in this country because the most dangerous people in this world are people with nothing to lose. The Tim Conway Jr. Show. And that group of people is getting larger and larger and larger every single year in this country. Weekday, 6 X on KFI. Thursday morning, April uh, the seventh. Hot, hot day. Triple digits today. Let's finish up a handle on news. Jennifer, Wayne, and me. Hold up. That is me. I know that we, is uh, you. Shuffled, we shuffled uh, some of the stories. Oh, oh yeah, boy. Yeah. So <laughs> there was a legislative hearing up in Sacramento. An animal rights uh, organizer glued her hand to the table and refused to leave. Carla Cabral is her name. She's with a group called Direct Action Everywhere. She was upset because they were not voting on a bill that would impose a moratorium on new factory farms. They were not taking any action, so she super glued her left hand, kept talking. They turned off her mic and then got that WD-40. I, yep, I think they hand table. off that table. They handled got her, this got her so butt out of the bill. Wrong. What they should have done is simply removed their hands still glued to the table. Uh, now, getting a table out the door may be a little difficult because of the legs, so they simply cut those legs off to the point where a, the door could fit through the, the, the table could fit through the wall and just park her out in the parking lot, uh, hand glued, and say, enjoy yourself. And by the way, here's a ticket for 40 bucks for the table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a uh, ticket for 40 bucks? I don't know. Or you owe us 40 bucks for the table. Yeah, thank you. You have to pay us for a this ticket. table now. Yeah. Boy, you don't understand, and why should you, how government furniture contracting works if you think a table's only $40. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I, I know that there's more pork in government furniture yeah. than you can imagine. And there could have been a fight hand-to-hand -hand, uh, battling there, and it <laughs> didn't work. Hand right. to table. Okay. Let's move on. And so not much happened. Boy, did she make uh, a statement that was uh, really effective, wasn't she? It was a sticky situation. And then they decided to table the uh, the motion, uh, and it was a sticky situation, and I think we're done with all these bad points. What do you think? Yes. All right, you've got six state attorneys general. Uh, these are from all different places, including New York, Illinois, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Oregon, Washington, who sent a letter to the NFL that read it had grave concerns of reports of how female employees of the league are treated and that the workplace culture is overly hostile to women. They said that they made some uh, allegations. One was a female employee told the Times, apparently, about being made to repeatedly watch a 2014 video of an ex-NFL player. Remember Ray Rice when he punched out his fiance, knocked her out? And they, they were watching this and they had commentary by co-workers that basically said, oh, that victim just brought that violence on herself. Yeah. Next uh, step of uh, the Me Too movement is within the NFL, which traditionally, I mean, you think of women in the NFL, and that was an uh, you know, five years ago. What, what are women doing in the NFL? Same thing with uh, the NBA, same thing with hockey, and now uh, it, has, uh, it has changed and is changing. Well, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Board of Governors was going to meet on April 18th, but they've moved it up to tomorrow because they got to figure out what to do with Will Smith. If you don't know why they're discussing what to do with Will Smith, I'm not going to tell you now. <laughs> so they're taking it seriously in the sense that they don't want to wait any longer. Now it would be very interesting to see what they come up with. Because, according to the Academy... Suspension or expulsion are off the table. No longer a possibility because he's already resigned. So what's left? Maybe he will uh, never be able to rejoin. Uh, that's a possibility. Maybe just a reprimand or a statement saying uh, that 
uh, you know, we abhor what he did, and uh, we are, uh, you know, some, some statement uh, that uh, tells the world that uh, we think this is disgusting. I don't know what they're going to do. Wayne, what do you think? Strongly worded letter? Maybe. And maybe a lifetime ban. Yeah. And that's, I think that's about it. will never come back no matter what. Yeah. All right. Let's think about the slap itself and how horrified everybody was, like Campbell, you were talking about. Well, there's a gym that's decided in Phoenix that has decided to capitalize on the slap. And they actually have put a picture of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock and that look on, you know, Chris Rock's face when he gets the slap. And it says, keep that burger out of your effing mouth. And that, of course, was what Will Smith said when he went back to the, his chair and said, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth to Chris Rock. Well, the owner of the gym is defending his use of that photo because he said, we're not going to talk about something a man did wrong. We're going to talk about what's right. We're going to talk about how important it is to stay healthy and how important it is to have self-restraint. And so we want to talk about how important it is trying to be your best. In other words, keep that burger out of your mouth and go to Muscle Topia. Yeah, that's said. kind of a stretch, don't you think? A big stretch. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This one didn't work. I don't think so. Yeah, and it was a publicity, uh, obviously a uh, ploy for some publicity, but we're not going to mention the uh, gym's name, so it doesn't matter. I already did. Sorry. A uh, figurine of Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has uh, sold out and raised almost $145,000 for Ukrainian relief. It was made by a small toy maker in Illinois called Trupia, custom toy maker in Naperville, and um, this guy, Joe Trupia, he uh, has this company, Citizen Brick, that makes, they look like Legos, but not enough for him to be sued. They will remind you of Legos, but they will not infringe on the Legos patent. <laughs> and people snap those things up. You know what? I would have bought one. Yeah. Didn't you like oh, Absolutely. Sold yeah. out in minutes, first time out. And uh, now he is uh, manufacturing enough. Uh, he has raised almost one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, of which every dime goes to Ukrainian relief. And by the way, you guys, if you want things that are that show your support for Ukraine, if you go to Etsy, all of these different um, companies across the the country, our country, all these different, um, you know, uh, I don't know, seamstresses and things like that have created different shirts and prints and and embroidery. And a lot of them say right on them, 10% of proceeds go to Ukraine, or all of the proceeds go to Ukraine, whatever it may be. So there are other ways to help, even if you can't get your hands on a Zelensky Lego. Coming up, uh, the sanctions against Russia. Matter of fact, they may be hurting the West more. And are you ready for this? They may be helping Putin. How does that work out? I'll share that with you. But first, this is KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. We're not here to make up your mind. We're here to give you the latest. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Well, howdy, Heat. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. Temperatures today will be well above normal. That's National Weather Service meteorologist Andrew Rourke, who says temperatures in SoCal could hit triple digits in some parts. We're going to have uh, 80s and lower 90s in the coastal areas, and 90s as to about 101, 102 degrees in the valley. Rourke says the heat will stick around through tomorrow, and then temps will start to drop. Temperatures should plummet 15 to 20 degrees on Saturday. He says there's even a low chance of rain Monday night. News is brought to you by the Cunning Dental Implant Center. A vote's been scheduled in the UN General Assembly on whether to suspend Russia from the UN Human Rights Council should happen sometime today. The measure needs a two-thirds majority by the 193 member assembly to pass. U.S. And Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield said this week that Russia's participation on the Human Rights Council is a start. Investigators in Irvine say they think three people whose bodies are found in the house died in a murder-suicide. We say the bodies are believed to be that of a father, mother, and son. Lieutenant Bill Bingham says detectives are working to figure out what led up to the killing. They're going to be reaching out to certainly the family that, that uh, brought this to our attention in Canada. We're going to reach out to neighbors, to friends, to Bingham says relatives of the family in Canada couldn't reach them for more than a year. They called police, who then called Irvine TV. The LA County Sheriff says there's been a historic increase in homicides over the last two years. Sheriff Villanueva says in 2019 there were 145 yeah, homicides. In 2021 there were 281. A clear increase of 94%, which is just mind-boggling. 
a two-year increase in Grand Theft Auto, which is 60%. Dean Nueva says so far this year, violent crimes up 10%, with more than 3,500 cases, and that's mostly because of the increase in robberies. The sheriff says on the good side for 2022, homicides are down 35%, and rates are down 16%. He's Gregory KFI News. A pair of accused drug dealers from Buena Park have been caught with more than 800 pounds of meth, nearly 9, 190 pounds of coke, and more than 20 pounds of fentanyl. DA Todd Spitzer says that's enough fentanyl to kill 4.7 million people. They don't care what the consequences are. They do not care if people are dying. All they care about is making a lot of bucks uh, at the expense of our citizenry. Spitzer says the bust is largest in the county in the last 16 years. Investigators pulled over a minivan last month to uncover the drugs. The two men are due back in court in May. They're looking at 37 years in prison. Police have confirmed a gun pointed at several people on Seal Beach Pier was a BB gun. Multiple people called police to report a man waving a gun at people. Seal Beach Police Lieutenant Nick Nicholas says officers swarmed the pier only to find a guy with a replica that looked just like a Beretta. We didn't have any reason to believe that he'd gotten into an altercation with anyone prior, so we're not sure why he decided to pull out this type of firearm. The gun was outfitted with a tactical light and did not have the state law required orange tip. We took that replica firearm as evidence for the the guy was cited for displaying a replica in a threatening manner Sunday afternoon and released. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. And a woman from Santa Ana on social media known as Neighborhood Karen has been charged with assault for allegedly hitting a kid riding his bicycle on the sidewalk. The confrontation Sunday was captured on a helmet cam that the 12-year-old was wearing. Get that hell off the sidewalk now. Excuse me? Get off the sidewalk. Please don't touch me. Why'd you just hit me? The woman then said, want me to hit you again? The boy's parents called police and the mom says she told her son to ride on the sidewalk because he was almost hit by a car last week. We've got delays on the side. We'll talk about those after sports with Wayne. The Clippers climb back to 500 on the season after beating the Phoenix Suns by a score of 113 to 109. Norman Powell took high score honors with 24 points and Coach Ty Lue was almost giddy about it. <laughs> he made me say he feels good. Um, no injuries. Um, the way he played was, was good, and um, just seeing him get attacked the basket, make shots, and just had good to see him on the floor. The Lakers are at the Golden State Warriors at 7. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Life is stressful, particularly these days, and so a good night's sleep, uh, really important for the next day. A bad night's sleep, and you know what the next day is about. So let me suggest uh, doing what I have done for the last 14 years, and that is sleeping on a sleep number bed gives you the great sleep you really need and you can customize and adjust each side of the bed to your ideal firmness comfort support that's your sleep number and i've changed mine several times over the years and now my sleep number is 100 i want a firm mattress works for me and now through april 11th you only have four more days save up to 800 dollars on select sleep number 360 smart beds and you'll only find the beds that either sleep number source or on sleep number dot com Three locations in Southern California for the stores, including Glendale, Valencia, Huntington Beach, San Diego. Visit sleepnumber.com. Taking a look at your KFI financial report, the Dow is down 166, S&P up 5, NASDAQ up 59, and the average price of a gallon of gas in California is $5.81. Here's SoCal weather from KFI. Hot. So what we have today is a high wind advisory until 3 o'clock. We have a heat advisory until 6 o'clock tomorrow night. And today's highs are going to be in the 80s at the beaches, 90s for Metro LA and OC, low 100 for the valleys in the IE. And as far as the temperatures go, copy and paste that forecast for tomorrow. And as you heard the National Weather Service say at the top of the hour, we could see a 15 to 20 degree drop by Saturday, chance of showers on Monday. Right now, it is 54 in Malibu, already 79 in Rancho Santa Margarita. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, let's go places. Jeff Bob's got delays on the five. We've got uh, that boy, long road that I've come through California, but this is your drive now, leaving the back door, coming through Gorman, if that's where you are right now. Now, be heads up. I know traffic is really moving up here this time of the morning, but stop on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y